adding 1% color to print a white underbase. As mentioned in our Using the White tab segment, EPS or vector images will register 100% white areas as a transparency in partner rip, leaving gaps where white ink may be needed as part of a design. While this would work on a white poker chip, it needs to be filled in on a colored chip. To preview how the white ink will print in an image, select the white tab on the bottom right and change the view from color to white. In the white layer generation options, there are two options for creating a solid white underbase. These are fill all area, which will fill the entire artboard with the white underbase, or 100% white under any colored pixel, which will produce a white layer only where color is defined in the artwork. This setting works best with vector file formats. If the image is rasterized or flattened, like a JPEG image, the print result may have white overspray or pixelation around the edges. If the artwork includes white areas in the design that are assigned a color value of 0% CMYK, the RIP recognizes these areas as an absence of color. Therefore, the white layer preview may show transparent areas where we want to print white ink. In order for the RIP to print white ink in these areas, a 1% color needs to be assigned to the transparent area of the EPS or vector file by using Illustrator or a graphic design software to add color. This is just enough color allowing the RIP to recognize it as a colored pixel while still appearing white when printed. To demonstrate this technique, we have opened our artwork file in Adobe Illustrator. We'll make sure that our swatch palette is open by going to Window, Swatches. Using the Direct Selection tool, select the fill color in the toolbox by clicking on it once. In the swatch palette, click on the drop-down menu on the top right and select New Swatch. You can rename the swatch here as White Ink, then change the drop-down menu from Process Color to Spot Color. Now assign 1% to any CMYK color as a value and click OK. We have now created a new spot color swatch in the palette, identified by a small dot on the lower right corner of the swatch. Use the direct selection arrow to click on a portion of the artwork where you would like to print white ink. From the select menu, choose Same, Fill and Stroke to select any other portions of the design that have the same color attributes. Now, click once on the spot white color swatch created in your swatch palette to reassign the fill color of the selected portions. To test and make sure you've corrected all necessary pieces, you can double click on your spot color swatch and quickly slide the color value up to 100% and click OK to see a preview on the screen of all the portions that have been assigned to print white ink. You can manually select any portions that need correction, and once all the pieces are filled correctly, you can double click your spot color swatch and reassign the color value as 1%. Save the file and rename if necessary. When the corrected image is open and partner it, the image will no longer show transparencies and fill the full area with a solid white underbase. Once you have selected your white layer generation type, such as 100% under any colored pixel, the white channel setting must be set to print using the white channels. In the default setup, this will be your first two channels. Set the white density setting on the color tab to print the desired opacity of the white underbase. To print a thin layer of ink, start at around 15% and increase if needed. Bring up the print window and set the white setting copies to 1 and when printing your color on top, enter 1 
for color setting. When you press print, the printer will first print a solid white underbase of ink onto the product.